your graphics processing unit card has stopped working for no apparent reason. Or you've just installed a brand new GPU, but when you turn your computer on, nothing happens. For some reason, your computer is not detecting your graphics card. The following tips may provide some answers. First, check the monitor connection. Check that the monitor cable is connected to the graphics card and not to the integrated GPU port on the motherboard. This is a common mistake. Next, ensure the monitor is set to use the correct input. For instance, you might be plugged into HDMI 2 when the monitor is set to HDMI 1. Try different outputs on your GPU as well. It might have multiple HDMI or other outputs, with one being primary, or some of them being faulty. Try putting the old card back. If you've just installed a new card before the problems began, put the old card back to make sure it's still working. If the old card also suddenly doesn't work anymore, it points to a problem other than your new GPU. You should also try the card in another computer and update its firmware. If you're lucky enough to have access to a second suitable computer, try your new GPU in that machine. If it works, then it suggests an incompatibility between your computer's motherboard and the new GPU. While you have your GPU working in a surrogate computer, try updating its firmware to resolve known compatibility problems. If you don't have a surrogate computer, you may want to contact a local computer technician with a test bench to perform the update. Check online whether a new firmware update has been released first though. There will also be a list of fixes for each new firmware revision. Is the card seated properly in the correct slot? While you're rooting around inside your computer, it's a good idea to make sure that your card has been installed properly or that it hasn't come undone in some way. Is it seated correctly in the slot? Is it in the primary PCIe slot? Are all of the power connectors correctly attached? Next, does the card power up? Most discrete GPU cards these days have active cooling systems with fans, so as soon as your computer powers up, the fans on the card should start spinning. Many modern cards also have lights, which can be another clue that there is no power. If you've plugged in everything and the card doesn't power on, it might be faulty. You also have to ask whether your PSU is strong enough. Each card has specific power requirements to work. If your computer cannot supply it with enough power, it may not be detected at all. The power requirements are mentioned in the card's documentation and website, but that's not the whole story. Those requirements are minimum estimates, not precise specifications. The available power for the GPU depends on how much power the other components of your computer need. Use a power supply calculator to get a more accurate picture of how powerful your PSU should be. Also, remember that GPUs have a specific wattage requirement and need sufficient amperage to work. Run DDU to clear out old drivers. Get back into Windows by reinstalling a good card or switching your computer to its integrated GPU if it has one. Once there, download DDU, the display driver uninstaller. Run the program and it will remove every trace of your old card's drivers. This is also a good fix for when the new card physically works but is only detected as a generic GPU in Windows. Once you have scrubbed the old driver from the system, reinstall the problematic GPU and install a fresh copy of the latest driver from the manufacturer's website. You should also check your BIOS settings. Sometimes the GPU is not initialized because the computer's BIOS or UEFI isn't set correctly. In your BIOS or UEFI, look for a setting to boot the computer with the card in the PCIe slot as your primary GPU. Then consider updating your BIOS. I mentioned that you should consider updating the card's firmware if it's incompatible with your motherboard, but you can say the same thing for the motherboard itself. Check if there's an update and install it. Lastly, check the card for physical problems. The final tip I can provide to help fix your undetected card problem is to inspect the card physically. Is the heatsink properly attached? Are any screws or parts missing? Do any components on the card show scorch marks? Do any capacitors look swollen? This is a long shot, but if you see any visible damage, you probably won't have any further luck with that particular card. Replace it, take it to a technician, or return it if it's still under warranty. See you next time.